to make a window, door, or hole in the wall, I would suggest making more blocks surrounding the hole. So I'm going to make one here for below the window, one for above the window, and one for the side of the window. So I now have four blocks and a hole in the center for the window. So from there I can just put a window texture in and it hopefully it'll look like a window. Look at that. Great window. Next I'm going to show you how to carve. I'm just going to choose the brick texture again. Now to carve you use the clipping tool second to the bottom on the left hand side. You select it and from there you can choose where to clip the wall. Just play about with it. It's quite easy to learn how to use. If you want to keep both sides of the wall that you cut in half, I'll get ready to cut it in half and then I'll keep clicking on the clipping tool and you'll see the bit that turns white will change to the other half. Now the bit that's selected in white will be the one that remains, the bit in red will be deleted. If you click on it another time, you'll see that both of them are white. If you press enter now, they are now separate bits. How cool is that? So mess around with that. I'm just going to carry on making this wall look as if it's been smashed up. There. That'll make your walls look a bit more interesting if you do it that way. Next, I'm going to rotate objects. So I'm going to make a, a wall here. Now to rotate it, you click on the selection tool, select the, th the thing you want to rotate. Then in one of the 2D grid boxes, you click on the thing that's selected again, and you'll see little hollow white circles around the outside. You select one of them and your mouse cursor will disappear. It's some kind of bug with the Source SDK. You can then rotate it. If you want to rotate it on another axis, use another viewpoint like that. Or this one here to rotate it this way. Hours of fun. If you want to make spheres or cylinders, you click on the block tool. Go across to the right hand side and it will say move selected categories primitives objects block. Um, you click on where it says block and you choose cylinder or sphere and you can mess around with it until you get it right. You can change the number of faces. Warning if you make too many faces it won't work. Put where you want it to be on the level. There you have it. A cylinder. And you can rotate it to the right angle using the uh, rotating thing I've just told you how to do. Remember, after you've made the cylinder, put it back to block, because I'm pretty sure that everyone does this. They go, oh, let's make a wall here. And it's a cylinder again, so make sure you go back to block. Finally, arches. Arches are quite complicated, but they're, they're fun to do. So if I just delete this and get a bit more space to do this tutorial. I'm going to choose the block tool. Make sure that arch is selected. I'm going to make it. 128 by 128, 256 by 256, that's better. Press enter and this little menu comes up and from here you can change what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to set the wall width to 32, number of sides to 16, you can change the arc. 360 is a full circle, 180 is half a circle, 90 is a quarter of a circle and so on. You can then add height and if you add 16 that will mean that it changes each bit of this into a step. So I'm going to set the number of sides to 8. OK. There you have it. You have some steps going up. If you want to make an arch that you can walk through, I'll set it to add height 0, start angle 0, arc 180, number of sides 16, wall width 32. And there's an arch. I'll now set it to half the height so it's like a complete arch. I'll rotate it around the right way if I can find it. There we go. There you have it, you have an archway. And if you've used a nice number like 256 and wall width 32, you can just add extra pillars down the side 
to create the illusion of a tunnel. Remember to select block again. There. There's my nice archway that I can walk through. If you want it to be part of a wall, like this. However, there are big holes here and here. And to get rid of them, you can either botch it together by putting loads of blocks in, or you can use the vertex tool, which is the nice way of doing it. Now, to do this, you select the vertex tool. Ah! You select the vertex tool and stretch all of the sides out to where you want them to be. So as you can see from the 3D view, this method makes the arch cover up the whole of the uh, the hole. There, that's just one side to show you what it does. So do that with the other side as well and then you have a nice neat arch. I hope this helps when making levels and that looks quite nice as it is actually. I'm quite impressed with that. Hopefully this will help you to make weird and wonderful shapes in your levels. Anyway, have fun.